I'm Charlie Hansen from RMI, and I'm here in Yuma, Arizona today to talk about Shinshi drivers. So this is a complete mobile unit, meaning it has a watering unit where liquid sludge is pumped to a spiral screw press. From the spiral screw press, the dewatered tank is delivered up into the actual Shinshi dryer. This is an SB 1200 unit, meaning it can dry 1,200 kilograms of water today. And we're going to talk a little bit about some of the specifics on how this machine works. So the spiral screw press starts by the liquid sludge coming in and having polymer introduced to it, where the mix of polymer and liquid sludge at about 2% mixes here in the mixing box. The mixing box then feeds down with the polymer added sludge into the spiral filter press. The spiral filter press is merely a gentle screw inside a set of rings. Every other ring is fixed, every other ring is loose, and so it provides a slight space for the liquid, to, for the filtrate to be removed from the cake. So here's the dewatered cake coming off the end of the spiral press. 2% liquid sludge, it's coming off at 20 plus percent. You can see here, it drops into a, a shaftless screw conveyor, and the cake has continued to improve after startup. I wouldn't be surprised if these solids were hitting the low 20s, 22, 23, and they're fed entirely up to the top of the slitter box, that rectangle at the top. This is the slitter box. This particular uh, screw is feeding the dewatered cake from the spiral filter press. It's now falling onto these two sets of rotating rollers. The upper rollers with the fingers will help move the dewatered 20-22% cake down into the lower two rollers, what I like to call the industrial pasta machine, for shaping prior to going on the belt. Shaping in belt dryers is extremely important, and the beautiful part of the Shinshi design is those lower rollers, by rotating, they do not clog from fiber or other materials that can be in the dewatered cake. So here, you can see where the slitter box is forming the sludge into small pieces, and it's dropping onto the belt. This is the belt that runs to the back of the machine, where it drops onto the second belt, which comes out, and this is the fully dried product below. Now here is the final dried cake. The cake has been fully dried. It's now greater than 90% solids. Based upon analysis, it's actually close to 93%. This meets in the United States Class A standards and pathogen and vector attraction standards. 